On hole number three, option one, we are starting with QB and a P3 ball, and then we swap immediately to a POC bag. We're using max top spin and two right spin with our APOC. Once you have swapped to your APOC bag, you can decide to either stay with the P3 ball if you would so like, or you swap to any P2 plus side spin, two plus wind five ball. P2 has a tiny shake on that needle, uh, where off uh, on the P3 plus is going to be completely slow always. Perfect ball. Ball rolls down and we're looking to be somewhere between 385 and 392 yards. What you need to have in mind as well is uh, that for those that do play with Apocalypse of 7, you need to push up 0.2 rings uh, of the adjustment just because you have slightly lesser top spin. When it comes to extra mile and nine users, you're gonna do it slightly different. All will be listed in an info box on the slide. On the second shot, we are doing a top white uh, ring frame check where the fringe meets the fairway. And then we are applying a light three top spin and one left spin. Bullseye by the edge of the rough line, ball guideline go through the hole. This one looks like it's gonna come in widely hot, but it's not gonna do that. We're gonna land further back than where we aim. Adjust is gonna be 16% slider minus 5% elevation, P2 numbers, and that is from plus 4 and plus 5. Here, having plus 2, we shall then deduct 0 0.1 to the adjustment that we are getting, or the rings that we are getting. This is the, I mean, kind of blue angle-ish, which, I mean, we could have gone one right spin here, to be fair. I went two. Oh, no, right curl, sorry. I went two. And that's also the reason why we're dropping slightly on the right side of the cup. Scan the QR code here on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy for the best guides on the market.